Good morning, America. This is Dr. Cherry from the Arid Zone. Okay, so as always, at the very end of this video, we're going to do the universal card of the day. So you will be touched somewhere or somehow. Okay, we are right now into a shocking, surprising, mind-blowing UFO technology type of energy. So there is quite a lot of interesting things to say about this newsletter. And remember, I always, always go back to those newsletters to add more. So you need to go and read it, not just listen to me. And as you listen to me, of course, hey, Dr. Chiri, do it now. We like you. Give me the thumb up. Okay. And obviously, sign up. Don't miss any of my video because they're not going to be as many as you think. All right. So let's get into that newsletter today. The title is SOS to the World, April 8th, Total Solar Eclipse Full Predictions for 2024. So this is definitely a very, very educational newsletter. And you heard me before. I do not give full newsletters anymore. But there is plenty of good stuff for you, at least enough to regenerate. All right. My visions for the day following the eclipse and the rest of the years are quite gloomy, but I cannot be blamed for humanity's total lack of cosmic awareness, the corporate greed, stupidity, religious belief, and atheism. Okay? Do not, again, blame me for those bad news that are going to come up. That's why you need to come back again and read those upcoming news. All right, now... The reality is that in the natural course of events, our world has never in its entire history heat up as rapidly as it is now. And you know it. Nor have greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere ever seen such a precipitous hike. Yet, there is still hope for smart and curious people, of course, something that science could never offer you, could never accept nor explain. That's why you're here. All right. As I mentioned earlier, we're into the shocking, surprising, shocking SOS window, and the collected news below once again will confirm the quatrain and the keywords used to depict those various disturbing cosmic winds. Remember, Dr. Therese is well ahead of time, maybe 50 years into the future. There'll be a day where this will be in our college university and accepted as a solid discipline. I'm just putting the seed and many of my students and the student of the future will carry the torch when I end up six feet under the ground. All right. Now, I was asked to fly to the Torino, Nevada, but... If you read the news, uh, I chose to drive, and for good reasons, okay? Now, this window explains also, as I mentioned earlier, Nostradamus 16th century divine astrology methodology, and the more you read, the more you listen, the more you're going to gain cosmic consciousness. Cosmic consciousness means knowing everything about God, cosmic design, and Jesus' cosmic ministry, which means, of course, astrology, which were taught to old popes by the Vatican Council. But, of course, you do not know. Now you do. All right. It is obvious to me that I have a special connection with extraterrestrials, okay? But not everyone can see it or accept it. Understandable. Many people who are considered the expert on the UFO phenomenon have never had any direct contact with ETs or even understand their agenda. And those who claim to have had UFO contact cannot provide any evidence whatsoever or prediction, like I do, that are based on those experiences. I'm very different from them because I have endless proof of my incredible encounters that are offered to you through my predictive legacy. And today is not different. You're going to be the judge of that. 
Again, the ID is for you to join the Cosmic Code private website and be aware of, of all the 2024 SOS Dangerous Windows and plan your life in accordance to God's cosmic design, speaking His will through the stars. Now, each time you have a, a link, which is live, it's a lot of stuff for you to read. And sudden enough, people are not strong enough or intellectual enough or curious enough to read. Man, that's the key of success, as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you do not know, okay, if you do not do build that cosmic awareness, understand the news astrology, if you completely ignore my SOS to the World Deadly Window, you will experience frustration. You will waste tremendous time and a hell of a lot of money. And you even take the chance to lose your life. My cosmic work is designed, again, to benefit only those who are smart, curious, able, and willing to build that cosmic consciousness through my teaching. There's no way around it. Learn astrology. Okay, because this is how God speaks to us through the sign. All right, there goes the window that was posted on February 29. We are in a unique window. We have another day to go. Okay, the keywords are very, very obvious. And trail upset speed above. Are we talking about volcano? Red, fire, wind, water to dance. We're talking about tornado, stars, command, shock, science. Of course, all the educated idiots out there are going to say, how the hell this little astrology from France again? gave us the date of an earthquake. You can see the date here today and the 6.0 because my window always depicts serious natural disaster and earthquakes at or above 6.0. The keywords are right here, obvious, all in red. Anytime you have something in red, it's related to that shocking window. We're going to talk about Japan, Asia, China, France, NASA, unexpected news, shocking news, shocking video, humanitarianism, news about children, discovery, of course, UFO, earthquakes already mentioned, technology, airport, airline, etc., etc. So, Unexpected, that's the first one. President Biden tech message on the road after fiery union address speech last night. The fact is the president performance was well above the expectation of the opposition and he shocked the entire world with his speech. The conservative MAGA expected an abysmal performance and were all in shock after he was done. Remember, I translate the stars, and I don't give a damn about politics or religion, so leave me alone with that. Not Republican representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, like President Trump, previous president, is she's a Gemini. And she was born with the exact same dragon head and tail. In other words, she carried the same trait and character as the former president. Again, a magnet would not attract a piece of wood. That's why they, they look alike, They're the same in so many ways. Maybe not on the physical plane, but for certainly on the spiritual plane. So you want to know about the president and about Marjorie? There you go. Click in here and read it. Remember. Don't kill the messengers. All right, this window talk about UFOs and be ready for technology news. Okay, U.S. military is developing portable UFO detection kits as Pentagon say no evidence of alien tech found. Okay, wait a minute here. Understand one thing, my good friend. Understand one thing, okay? It is agenda UFOs are very, very real. They don't want you to know for whatever reason. The main reason is they didn't see it. They didn't delegate it. They didn't touch it. They didn't experience it like I did. So you take it from me, okay? And again, at 74, I got better thing to do than to make up stories. It's very, very real. But it is are not going to be connecting with Neil deGrasse. They're not connecting with the Pope or the President. No, they're connecting to people like you and me, those who are especially advanced on a spiritual level. 
Again, remember, magnet will attract a piece of wood. Why do I attract tons of UFOs experience that changed my life and give me a gift of prediction and why millions of other people don't? Maybe because I vibrate on a very different level. And so you, so are you, because you're here. Okay, so this being said, let's go back to the newsletter. UFOs are real. Technology, a tech company is growing diamond in the desert. All right, shocking video, airport, airline, aeronautic, jet, plane, and these are the key watches, it's the same thing, okay? There you go, you see that? That is an airplane, and you see that? That's a wheel that came out of a United flight, okay? How the hell, you tell me, how the hell do you think I knew that an airplane today was going to lose a wheel in the sky? Well, guess what? No, I didn't, but I knew through my cosmic work. A tire falls out of a plane immediately after takeoff. Okay, don't I say shocking videos today? See what happened? No, this is not every day that a freaking wheel come out of an airplane, my good friend. It is during my window, did it? Especially if you're an atheist or if you're an educated idiot or if you're a skeptic, you've got a proof right here. But again, if you don't read, and if you don't know about Dr. Terry, how the hell are you going to be able to understand what I'm trying to tell you? It's been 10 years. Is the world closer to finding MH370? Google MH370, Dr. Terry. See what happened to that plane. The guy committed suicide. Okay. I knew on the first day, on the first day, and I wrote in length about it. Again, we are talking about the airplane, okay? MH370, the flight didn't end up in the Indian Ocean, still looking for it. Boeing is shifting his employee bonus formula from finance to safety and quality. Again, what, what do you think Boeing is? It's a corporation involving airplane. It fits, it fits the keywords and the news that I'm giving you to you. Okay, children, okay, at least. 287 school children were kidnapped by armed gunmen in northwest Nigeria. Okay, the word children. Remember, the reptilians are after your children. Okay, pay attention. Shocking news. At last, five were killed after air dropped head fall on them. Airplane, airport. Okay, shocking news, shocking video. When is the last time that you got people that are being killed because they're dropping aid from the sky? Come on. Surfside condo collapse. Investigators provide key insights into a possible cause of the disaster. The same type of window was in place when this big building fall down and kill lots of people. I knew it weeks before. Remember, if you heard me on Coast to Coast with George Norrie, I predict the fire, Katrina. Remember, the FBI came in my house twice because they gave exact date for earthquakes and tornado and terrorist attacks. They thought that was a sleeping cell. All right. The key words of France is there too. More than 500 dead seabirds wash up on the French beaches. Okay. And again, our favorite cheese is facing an extension crisis. You're talking about France, okay? France news. Okay. Now, about those birds, what do you expect? What do you expect with the air, the water, and everything being poisoned because of the corporation who don't give a damn about pollution? There you go. The result is there. We are next. Okay. 50 years. Remember, I don't want to be negative, but... There is always a but. Keep reading. Now, I mentioned the word Japan, Asia, and China. Hong Kong unveiled its second national security law aligning city more closely with mainland China. You go, China, Japan. Okay, let's look. The creator of one of the most popular Japanese manga and anime series has died again. Japan, China, middle, whatever. Humanitarianism, that's a big word, okay? You rock, you need. EU joined the US to launch a maritime aid corridor to Gaza this weekend during this window. Humanitarianism. I predict it, or at least if I don't predict, I give you an understanding of the energy that you're dealing with the news because of those cosmic wind. I translate for you. Discovery. 
70 million years old giant dinosaur skeleton found connected from skull to tail. Well, if you look at my keywords somewhere up here, um, maybe you should tell you very old, <laughs> very new technology and discovery. Yeah, so I should have put very old news. But anyway, now, again, if you read my last newsletter, all the connected news depict the reality of my question and obvious keyword reflecting the anticipated new. That was a different type of cosmic window, a different type window, a different uh, quatrain, different keywords that were used. Okay, again, remember, NASA is the first word that I put up there, okay? As always, NASA must entertain you with an endless discovery of new planet in cosmic news. They are wasting immense wealth to convince you and your kids that one day man will land on the red planet Mars. You are in such such deceit is unbelievable. You would have to pay me billions of dollars to be that stupid that, to accept and believe that one day a man will walk on Mars. We're already there with the technology, okay? Unless the extraterrestrial decide to connect with us when it's time, and they will, okay? Unless they interact with us, no way a man will ever get close to to Mars. In fact, man will never fly past the moon's orbit. But again, those oblivious, educated idiots and religious fools have no clue of God cosmic design speaking his will through the stars, through divine astrology. Again, you see what they are doing? They're amusing you. Hey, look at this. All sorts of things for you to read and to enjoy, okay? They must keep you interested. They must, they must take your money to survive, to pay the bill, to pay for their mortgage, to pay for the insurance, to pay for the school, for their kids, okay? Those people don't want to work. They don't want to have a job like you and me because daddy was there before developing the bomb, okay? And we are too smart to have a job like we do. No, we are too smart. That's why I call them educated idiot because they got statistic. Pride, intellectual pride is overwhelming. It's bigger than the universe. They think they are too intelligent to work normally, and they were set in that environment like the church, okay? And you are bringing your children to church so that they can be infected and become more fearful and more slave for the reptilian meat. Okay. My vision of the rest of the year are quite gloomy, but again, I cannot be blamed for humanity, total lack of cosmic awareness, the corporate greed, stupidity, religious belief, and atheism. So expect more of this type of news below. There you go. Okay. All right. That's not very reassuring. Okay. But, but how can I explain this? Uh, this, this, this celestial movement? How can I explain that? Is too much to say, and you don't like to read. The majority of you don't read, okay? So this is how I did it, okay? I give you a quatrain that I encompass the rest of the story. So what you want to do, okay, what you want to do is pretty simple, okay? You just want to go into that newsletter, take your sweet time, and read it, because not everything is doomed and gloom as a scientist or religious fanatic awaiting God wrath. Okay, believe. No, there is so much more. Remember, you either take me seriously and you realize that I am not bullshitting you, excuse my friends. UFOs and ETs are real, and so is the agenda. But if you do not take the time to read, to understand, or to watch my videos from drtree.com on UFOs, their specific agenda, the difference between the reptilius and the dragon is not realizing also that you are more than blood, flesh, and bones. You are a human being and you have a super conscious. That's why God resides and gets your heart beating, okay? He knows everything about you. If you do not understand that, how can you bring Bring about your wishes. Ignorance is evil. Knowledge is power. It's a choice. Okay? Positive, negative, open up, black and white. You know the story. Make a choice. 
Believe that the future has a lot to offer. Make sure to be positive. Don't feed the reptilians because that's all they want. They want chaos. They want fear. They want divide. They want problem. They want wars. They want blood. They want your fears because that's the only way they can survive in dark matter, feeding the forces of evil. Remember black and white? Two eyes, two hours, two legs, two sides of the brain. Make a choice. Work with me. Work with the Draconis. Be positive. Read the end of the newsletter. Okay. And join us because there is so much more to talk about UFO and extraterrestrial and what to do if you don't want to end up in the pit of stupidity or burning in the flame of hell that was created by science. All right, this being said, we are going to do the universal card of the day. You've been patient, you waited. So let's pull this card, okay? And we have Mars, okay? Okay, the number two means the split. People, because of the leading powers, you know, when you elect a president, and if he's a Gemini like Trump, okay, obviously you will suffer his fate. So a Gemini divide talks a lot, repeats itself, can be trusted. It will sell fridge to ask him. Okay. You need to understand what Gemini is all about by being split and disagreeing with each other. What we do, we just kill each other. And that's why you have the number Gemini, the two, and you have more as the Lord of War. So this is kind of a, a competitive card. If you use it properly, you can use that by being curious, because Gemini is not just about splitting. Gemini is all about being curious. And if you are born in June, well, click, go to drturi.com, click on the June and read where the Leo power is in those born in June, which means in the third house, June, July, August, August, Leo, that's where God wants you to shine through your words. That's why Trump, as soon as he opens his mouth, he shines. That's the way it is. Now, where is your Leo in your chart? Mine is in my sixth house of work and health. So when I work, I'm on stage, I shine. And what do I do? I give you light. Okay. Children, love, light, the arts, Leo. Leo, Pisces, six hours, March, April, May, June, July, August, six hours of work and service to the world. Leo, the light. Wherever you have Leo, that's where God wants you to shine. That's where God wants you to give you love and light and the stage. There's so much more to talk about. Where is your Jupiter? Your connection with foreigners, your lack, your good karma. Where is Saturn, the great malefic? Ain't going to give you anything for free, Saturn. That's a problem. What about your house of death? What planet is in there? What can you do to avoid the premature death? What about your head and your tail of the dragon and the values of all your past lives, my friends? Do you realize how much you do not know? You're walking totally blind. Yeah, it's like giving a Lamborghini to a 15-year-old who has absolutely no idea what he is doing. So much power. And that's what's going on. So much to say. So much to talk about. And you can ask all those questions. And you can communicate with me. Because the reptilians have shut me down. I cannot be on coast to coast. They don't invite me on UFO conference. They don't invite me on radio anymore. You know, the conspiracy is real. The dark forces enveloped me so I cannot reach you. This is my only way. God, thanks. We have you too. Okay? All right. There is much more to say, and I won't be talking to you for a while for a very specific reason that I must keep private for the time being. Oh, my health is fine. Look at me. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on top of the world. So, you know, that's the idea. If you want to stay healthy and young, amuse yourself, do something, challenge yourself. Don't sit in your couch and watch TV because you're going to end up killing yourself. <laughs> Be positive. Make a choice. Work for the light, for love, for happiness, for education. It's a choice. This is how you're going to stay long, happy, and healthy. Okay. So for the time being, again, Dr. Tree, well, yeah, we like what we do. Give me the thumb up if you're new to my channel. Hey, join, join, join. Don't miss anything I have to say because I might come up with something very special, very unique, because that's my life. That's all I'm all about. So one of these days, who knows? Until then, God bless all of you, my good friend. Remember, 
shocking news, surprise news, perfect time for you to dig into astrology, UFOs. And then I'm sure many of you have already experienced some weird things. <laughs> Today is one of them. Until then, <laughs> with me and my work. God bless all of you. Goodbye. <laughs>